You're not going to try and get that into that tiny car I saw you arrive in, are you? Yes. It's not going to fit. Yes, it will. I just got to angle it. Here, give us a hand, will you? No. You see, I help you and then, well, I'm liable when it breaks. That's why we've got a delivery service. 50 bucks and you can have it there in time for MasterChef. 50 bucks for a few Ks? Pfft, I'm no sucker. Yeah, clearly. Oh, enjoy your broken TV, champ. It's not gonna break. Anyway, I've got the extended warranty. Warranty doesn't cover your smashing a huge TV because you stuffed it into your tiny car. I'm not an idiot. It's gonna fit. It's gonna break the first bump you hit on the way home. Don't come back asking for help when it does. I've got no intention of ever coming back here. Hello, a little Percy space, please. Do we need a little refresher about rules regarding phones, ladies? Thank you. You fond of that hand? I don't know. Am I? You really need to start standing up for yourself. I do stand up for myself. No, you don't. I know. See what I mean? <sighs> I'm just not good at confrontation. You just need practice. The next shit customer that comes in, practice being firm and don't take any shit, okay? What if we don't get any shit customers in? There they are. How are you two? Hi, how can I help you? One official compliment, please. Free of charge, <laughs> made out to you two. Um, thanks. Is that all? I'm sorry, I mustn't have made myself clear. I'd like to make my compliment official. Surely you mean complaint? No way. I bought a blender last week and you two were amazing. Oh, we had so much fun. And I just think you deserve to be complimented. I have literally no recollection of this. <laughs> Zing! That's so us. So is there a form or? We don't have any forms for filling out compliments, sorry. Well, let me guess. There's a form for complaints? Oh, yes. Do you want to make one? And... See, that's the problem. There's all these forms for the negatives and none for the niceties. It's a travesty. Uh... I see you and your pain. Let's make a new procedure right now. You and I. Well, you can write it down. <gasps> Yeah, and then that way, if you write it down, it's it's official. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll put it somewhere official. Yes, put it right here. We did it. First official compliment. Oh, and this is just a beginning. I'll go to the local council and see if they can give you an award. Do they still give our keys to the city? It doesn't matter, I'll find out. And, and we'll get the papers and you can make a speech. Not a dry eye in the room. I'll be back. <sighs> you can't even stand up to the nice ones. What was I supposed to do? Do you guys work here? I need to return this. I return. Now's your chance to redeem yourself. Don't take any shit. Hello? I need to replace this TV. Sure. I mean, what is the issue? It broke in transit. Mm. What was your name? I'll check it with the delivery guys. Your delivery guys were prohibitively expensive. 
It broke in my car. I'm really sorry, but if that's the case, then there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, 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 I got the warranty. Well, a warranty doesn't actually cover smashing it in your own car, or anyone's car for that matter. Look, Curly, I know you only got this job because you're easy on the eye and they can pay you stuff all to flutter your eyelashes and get the guys to hand over their money. Oh, there's another word for that. I'll be damned if I'm going to have some minimum wage floozy tell me what I can and can't do. Now, get this out of here and bring me my new TV. Not a chance. We are not responsible for his stupidity. I know, but can't we just tell him that it broke here or something and get rid of him? No. No, rules are rules and he knew them before he left. I just, can you tell him that? Can't you do it? Yeah, I can, he's just a real prick. What'd he say? Nothing, it's fine. Come on, <sighs> how with that? He just said stuff about me being stupid. Stupid and pretty, so I guess that's kind of a compliment, right? What kind of fucking rubbish is that? That is not a compliment, Sarah. All right, well, help me grab a TV, will you? What happened to rules being rules? Different rules for different people. All right, first we've got to deal with the tape. Don't tear it. Damages the box. Get your blade. Smooth cut. Let the blade do the work. All right, Sarah, gently, gently open the flaps. That's it. Now we're going to move on to the foam. No rush. Oh, precision. All right, slide your hand, outside hand down, grab onto it, lift it up. Come on, you're stronger than that. There we go. Like a baby being born. <sighs> Mr. the fuck with its TV. That's it, clean it over. All right, just grab that corner. Like you are wrapping a beautiful present. Fucking Christmas. It's okay. That's it. Like that? Hold it. Same deal, that's it, make it clean. Same as this one. Keep going. Beautiful. Lift her up. Light her down. All right, now we've got to reseal it. I like to make my own paste. Normal Muppets would just tape it up, but it's bloody obvious. Equal parts glue and spit. Just like the factory. in there. Keep it moving, don't wait too long in the same spot. Lovely. Oh, ho. he's back. This time, I've got a van. Mm. How much that cost you? About the same as our delivery. Oh, ha, 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 very fucking funny. How about instead of standing around doing nothing, you give me a hand with this thing? Mm. Like the first time, not gonna happen. Right, right. Store policy? Mm, store policy the first time. This time's because you're a prick. <sighs> that was amazing. Gosh, he definitely won't be leaving an official compliment. <laughs> what? Oh, some psycho came in this morning trying to make an official compliment. Pfft, idiot. <laughs> yeah, what did you do with it? Nothing. It's not like there's a process. Oh, you're in for a treat.
It was an old elevator program from years ago, designed to reward high flyers like yourselves. Basically, if you get an official compliment, you become a customer service all-star. Sounds all right. Yeah, except for all-stars have to do a shitload of unpaid work and get roped into all the hostile service situations because they are the experts at turning frowns upside down. Ew. Why have we never heard of this? No one ever makes a compliment. You know, there's only ever been one all-star. Adam. Mm. You are now going to be part of Adam's prestigious team. <sighs> we have to shut this down. Congratulations, you two. As the sole member, I would like to officially welcome you to the Service All-Stars. <laughs> you know what, if I'm being honest, I never thought it would be you two, but I am so glad that you've left your life of mediocrity behind you. Clear your calendars, Service All-Stars. We have a lot of work to do. I told you I'll be back. So. I went to the council and they said that they can't give out keys to the city to anyone who hasn't won an Olympic medal. And I said, well, if being kind was an Olympic sport, you two would be gold medalists. But they insisted that they couldn't give out keys to the city on hypotheticals. Okay, you need to stop it with this horse shit. Oh, that's what I should have said to them. Yeah, this is horse shit. <laughs> we really appreciate the compliment, but it's actually a lot more work for us than it's worth. Change is work, but it's worth it. I can't take back my compliment. You clearly need it. OK, plan B. Looks like we'll have to get a complaint out of you. <laughs> Never in a million years. Seriously, fuck off. What kind of a weirdo are you? Shots fired. You fuck off. There's better ways to make friends than this. Try a personality, maybe. Sounds like the roast of my wedding. How the fuck are you married? She's definitely cheating. How did you know that? Did I tell you Lars buying a blender? We're gonna have to add good listener to that compliment. Your wife cheats on you and you joke about it? That is the definition of pathetic. Only a true friend would say that. Ugh. Cruel to be kind. And you're right. I have been involuntary celibate ever since my wife left me. Maybe it is time to get back on the horse. Not her. Oh! I can't thank you enough. Both of you. <sighs> think you're funny, don't you, you little bitch? I want the manager now. Check your sass before things get ugly. Is everything all right? You need to fire her. I returned a broken TV and she gave me the same one just to fuck with me. Gary, he broke the TV himself, driving it home twice. You didn't take our delivery service? No, I have a warranty. That doesn't cover this. However, just this once, I'm happy to return this for you. What? The customer's always first, right in great electro world. Grab this one and swap it over for a new one, girls. Oh, no, nope. This doesn't leave my sight. No more funny business. OK, what's the plan? What do you mean? We get the TV, we take it to him. No, there's got to be some way we can fuck him. Ew. <sighs> Come on, think. Drop it. Gary's right out there. What are you doing? Fucking him. Ah, uh, ew. You really need to work on your trash talk game. Who showed you this? Luke had Obi-Wan. The turtles had Splinter. I guess you could say I had my own weird, hairy mentor. Ah! Oh, quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Now what? <sighs> oh my god! Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! Oi! What 
are you doing? That guy brought back the TV again, so we're fucking him. Stop! What in the world are you thinking? I'm standing up for myself. Well, that's fantastic. But you are smashing the wrong model. Well, go and get the right one. Let's fuck this dickhead. Come on. What is all this? All star shirts. Head office had them made years ago because fluoro, like good customer service, is fun for everyone. You! You did it again! I'm sorry, sir, but you're gonna have to calm down. They gave me another broken TV. I saw my service all stars give you a brand new TV in a sealed box at the same time that you refused our delivery service. Now, you have to calm down, or do I call security? Get her! She's breaking the TV somehow and resealing the box! Me? But I'm just a brainless minimum wage counter girl. I could never do something so clever. <laughs> yeah! Well done, All Stars. I can't prove it, but I know it was you two. <sighs> nice. Thanks. I still don't like standing up to people, though. I don't think I'm tough enough. Let me handle tough. You're cunning, and that's much scarier. <laughs>